beautiful weather today and lots of beautiful people. I mean, we are really blessed to live in a community where there are so many generous people. Looking for, looking for stuff like this. Anything that comes in a can that will last in the shelves for a while and they can be put in the food pantry and designated when it needs to be. There's other ways you can help donate. You can go inside the store. There are cash donations uh, that you can make in there that will help as well. And we're here to help. We're trying to fight that hunger uh, insecurity that's in our community. We know it's there. These folks, they know it's there because they have people coming to them every day looking for help. Antlers on, ready to go to work. Tell us what kind <laughs> of magic you're creating there, Alexis. Well, Brian, they told me they gave you the elf hat yesterday, so I had to settle for the antlers. But listen, we are putting in work out here in Kinston at the Piggly Wiggly along Highway 258. You really can't miss us. We don't have just one tent. We have two. And over here, this is where the party is happening. Let's go. How excited are you guys to be here today? That's what I thought. I'm here with Ruth Tanner. Ruth, we just got a pretty... Pretty nice donation over here. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can help donate. Here is one $5 bag, and if you give one of these bags, it gives three and a half meals to families. Just take a look at the sheer amount of people lined up, the line extending all the way down the street here at the Seed Food Festival. This is just a small representation of the amount of people law enforcement and business owners tell me they are expecting this year as much as two to three times the amount of people we normally see. Now, that's because so so many people did not get to come out last year because the festival in its traditional sense was canceled because of the pandemic. I had to jump up on stage with Chef James Clarkson, who's hard at work right here, and he's allowed me to interrupt him while he does his magic up here for the audience who's out here in front of his stage. From the flight line aboard Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, I'm Frank Ferboni, and welcome to this special edition of News Channel 12 at 530. It's great to have you all with us, and we want to begin by giving you a little background of what's been happening here. Over the past couple of weeks, Cherry Point has given us exclusive access to these incredible aircraft and the people that keep them flying in the air. The F-35 is certainly a great airplane. It's in development, and they are adjusting here at uh, Cherry Point. Off in the distance, you can see one of the F-35s that will be flying this weekend. Kate Hussey got a chance to find out. You actually got into the cockpit? I actually got into the cockpit, Frank, and let me tell you, it was absolutely surreal. I flew along with pilot number seven, that's Lieutenant Commander Julius Bratton, and let me tell you, he did not take it easy on He didn't me. hold back on you. He did not hold well, back one bit. I hear about people fainting. How did you overcome that? So I did not black out, amazingly enough, but I have to say, I did throw up. I didn't make it out without getting sick, but he did say he didn't take it easy on me, so I think I might get a little bit of a pass. But Frank, this is just part of my experience. I'm going to show you the whole thing coming up on 6 o'clock. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. And wow, that was awesome. 